Hello Green Tree Python Keepers, my name is Webster Wheeler. Today I'm going to be talking about the dreaded snake mite. Uh, I'm not going to go into much uh, history of the mite or where it came from or um, how it lives and that sort of thing. But instead that's all been very well covered uh, in an article by Bob and Tracy Barker. Um, I believe it's called The Natural History of Snake Mites and I'm going to post the link in the description below this video. <clears throat> uh, instead, I'm going to tell you or describe to you uh, my history with mites. I, ooh, I, I hate mites. Uh, mites are responsible for my eyebrows almost all disappearing. They've slowly fallen out over the years because of mites. Um, I've been bitten by mites, I've been bitten by rat mites, I've been bitten by uh, uh, snake mites, uh, and I've been bitten by canine mites, and they all live a, uh, leave a nasty little welt, but they're gone before they, you ever even know they bit you. Uh, but uh, then it becomes very itchy, it's uh, terribly itchy, it lasts for a week or so and then disappears. But uh, I've had mites, uh, snake mites, several times in my past. Uh, I didn't get them from, they didn't just pop out of nowhere. Uh, you generally get mites from uh, someone else's reptile collection. Um, or where a lot of exotic animals may be, such as in a pet store or in a zoo or something like that. The mites that snakes get uh, don't live in North America. Um, so you're not getting them from the environment if you live in North America. If you live in Africa, maybe. Uh, now I'm going to discuss uh, different treatments that have been tried uh, and, and used with varying degrees of success. Um, uh, but the main thing, uh, the main key to treatment is you just have to declare an all-out war on mites. You have to kill every last one of them. Uh, if someone knows that you have mites in your collection and is contemplating buying a reptile from you, that will probably turn them off. And, and it should turn you off from buying a reptile from someone else that has mites because you don't want to spread them, you don't want to get them, and if you do have them, you want to get rid of every last one. So, the methods that have been uh, used are fall into two main categories. Uh, one is uh, uh, insecticidal neurotoxins, and these are generally things that are permethrin-based. Uh, permethrin is uh, an insecticidal neurotoxin, but it's relatively harmless to people, but it may be harmful to snakes. And I'll just relate one experience that I've had personally. I cannot definitively relate it to this, but uh, things do kind of add up. Um, where I lost an entire breeding season uh, because I, had, I bought some rats uh, that had been treated for rat mites with permethrin and I fed them to my snakes. And, um, and I fed, it, fed them to them all that summer and uh, I had uh, virtually no luck with eggs that year. They were all, lots were fertile, but they had, they died early. They had different problems, deformities, different things like that. So uh, I, I don't use um, that sort of thing anymore. Um, look on the ingredients and you'll see what uh, they use to kill the mice. The second category of mite killers fall into what I would describe as uh, chemical warfare on the mites. Uh, mites have kind of this um, waxy coating that protects them from drying out or getting, um, uh, it regulates the amount of moisture inside their body too. And if anything happens to that waxy coating, 
um, mites are in big trouble. Uh, so anything that dissolves wax and it's safe for animals can be used. Um, I just use simple, um, like a spray bottle of soapy water that will um, immediately kill a lot of the mites uh, on a snake and it's relatively harmless. There's other things uh, that are advertised as herbal, safe for use, specifically for reptiles, but <laughs> I find, um, you know, trying to do simple things, especially if it costs like almost nothing, uh, I'll do that. Okay, so I, I now, unfortunately, am battling mites, and so I'm using this video as an opportunity to, uh, I've done this before, so I'm using this as an opportunity to, to kind of relate my experiences and uh, hopefully um, provide some information for people. Um, what I'm doing to get rid of the mites is I'm using the soapy water method. If the mite infestation on the snake is really bad, and let me just say that, uh, that these snake mites are tiny, they're about the size of a tiny black speck of pepper. Uh, they can move around, in fact they can move around quite fast and they're very persistent. They can move at uh, astonishing rates, up to 50 feet per hour. So if you think uh, you got reptiles in different areas that might not have mites. Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. I don't know. You just have to see. And then that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to explain in this video. I know that the bottom row in my office here behind me uh, has mites. I've seen the mites on the snakes, and so what I've done is I've removed everything down to the bare bones. There's no substrate, no paper towels, nothing. The bare essentials. Okay, I'm going to show you this. I'm just going to move the camera along over this way. Down, uh, down to, um, I'll just point to the tank, this tank here. What I've done here is I've cleaned the tank out I've put in a water, a big water bowl for the snake to soak in right down here and over in this other corner over this way I have a smaller drinking water dish. It's simply bare substrate and uh, in this tank what I've done is I've simply cleaned it out and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray the snake with soapy water, spray the tank down, um, and that will kill all of the mites um, that are out in the open. I'm just going to put the camera back over here now. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see a bit what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I just kind of set this up as a little demo to let me see how I'm going to spray this thing. Uh, I've just got a bottle, <laughs> used bottle, soapy water, okay. Um, I'm going to open this tank here. It's a closer. I'm just going to pop the lid. Spray everything. Snake reacts a bit. Don't, don't worry. The soap's not going to hurt him. Uh, it doesn't get in their eyes because they have a, uh, a film over their eyes that protects their eyes. I'm spraying everything, everywhere along the trim, along the trim, um, in the corners, along, along the front glass. Everywhere. I'm coating and painting. Coat the entire tank, the snake, as much as I can with soapy water. Okay, so that's that's good there. And now all I'm gonna do is put this back in and fill it up.
Okay. That's it. That's it. Don't worry if you get some water on the bottom of the tank. Soapy water on the bottom of the tank's good. It'll seep into the crevices. Completely deny mites any place to live or lay eggs. I've done that, and that will kill a tremendous number of mites, but never never assume that you've gotten rid of all the mites just because you haven't seen them in a little while. The eggs can take a while to hatch, especially at lower temperatures or drier environments. Harsher environments can, uh, let's say, prolong an epidemic by just sort of cutting down on the mites that survive dryness. Uh, or, you know, don't develop as well. But with green tree pythons, our environments that we keep our snakes in are absolutely perfect, perfect for mites. They love warm, 82, 84 degrees, uh, humid, 70 to 90 percent humidity environments. What am I describing? You all know green tree python keepers are especially prone to mites. You want to get rid of them as soon as you can. I'm going to continue this treatment uh, every couple of days. I'm going to spray soapy water on the snake. Uh, I'll do that for the first uh, week or two. And then maybe I'll cut back a bit. Uh, if I don't see any mites, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed. Uh, but I'm not going to relent. I'm going to still occasionally spray the tank, let's say, instead of every couple of days, once a week or so, uh, for maybe about a month, and then I'll wait at least another month or two uh, before things return to normal. I'll feed the snakes, and if they poo in their tanks, I'll, of course, clean that out too, but their tanks are going to stay bare, just like um, I, I've demonstrated until this mite problem is over. Um, in order to prevent the mites from spreading, uh, you can do uh, two things. You can uh, either use the insecticide um, shampoo mix, which has permethrin in it, and you can run it around, put it on a Q-tip and just run it around the very rim of the top of your tank and that will provide a barrier against mites. What I do is I use just the pure liquid uh, mild dish detergent, put it on a few tip, run it around the very top of the tank and that will keep mites from migrating from somewhere else back into the tank. So I'm going to do that with the tanks on top and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I don't ever see mites up there during this whole process on the bottom. But if I do, I'm just going to repeat it up top. My name is Webster Wheeler. Uh, thanks for watching and happy green tree python keeping.